well hello people now what if i ask you about one single topic in digital marketing without which you cannot become a digital marketer or why people fail in becoming a digital marketer so i guess when you get into any institute or college you get started your digital marketing training by learning website development on wordpress or shopify you learn about different campaigns in google ads you learn about google analytics you learn about facebook and instagram campaigns in meta ads you learn about on page and off page seo you learn about creating creatives on canva you learn about posting these creatives you learn about sharing these posts you also learn about email marketing and affiliate marketing and then finally you complete different certifications in google and meta both but yet you have not been able to secure a job in digital marketing i mean you learn everything about digital marketing you start your journey with launching search campaign shopping campaign video campaign performance max campaign in google you learn all sort of campaigns in meta as well but then when it comes to getting a job you are not able to get an internship you're not able to get a good job in digital marketing and then you think what the hell you have done where have you stuck in your life so i guess it's more about not knowing the science of project management in digital marketing if you don't know how to manage a project then launching the campaign ads keywords or maybe strategies does not help you because you don't know how to manage a project how to manage uh returns out of the project how to make this project profitable and all the companies all the viewers are looking for people who can make the project profitable who can make a uh, performance out of the project so now in this video we have to talk about management of project using the first topic which is called as project planning which means you'll be learning about how to plan a project now i'm going to use a sheet a uh, like a syntax for this project planning so that you can learn about writing a project plan any time when you get a project in digital marketing the first and foremost is to go through the website go through the website in depth so in our case the website which we have to go through is a e-commerce website by the name of spring tales now the first thing which i usually go through in the website is the product of course i just go through most of the products i go through the product pricing and see if people can really purchase these products from the website if it's a service based website then i'll be going through the landing page landing pages will be having the uh, phone numbers the forms maybe the whatsapp chats but then for e-commerce websites for products based websites we have to go through the product now after going through the product page and the product price i would have to check the payment gateway i would be checking the forms fields like if people will be easily filling up the form clicking on continue to shipping and if they'll be able to make the payments once the website is clean then only i can think about onboarding the project now so you can start off with writing the website name on the top then we have to define the project category if it's a service or if it's a product now the reason why we have to differentiate in between both because we have different campaigns for product and service for products we usually go with shopping campaigns we also go with dynamic remarketing for service the primary campaigns are search campaigns and normal remarketing campaign for products we also go with performance max campaign now then it's important to write down the products category so here we have fashion products in this website which are artificial jewelry having earrings and necklaces then we have to write down the most important part which is the objective of the marketing is it branding is it engagement or is it sales now usually we have three objectives in fact whenever you look at a big company whenever you look at a movie release you look at a car release you look at a automobile company anything big 
then they usually start with branding. So all big companies start with a lot of holdings, with a lot of newspaper ads, with a lot of TV ads, and they are initially doing brandings for the initial three to six months. But when you look at any low segment client, any SMB client, small and medium businesses, they always want you to generate sales. That's right. So they would want you to generate sales from the very first month. In fact, I have personally met with a lot of clients where they ask me to run their ads and then their expectation is to make profits in the first month. So when I make the media plans for them, I usually start with showing the very high cost per sale in the first month. And nobody likes that. All the clients want me to make profits in the very first month. So they tell me if they are going to give me a budget of 1 lakh rupees in the first month, they expect me to actually generate revenue of 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 5 lakhs. And then I really ask myself if I can really make a profit of 5 lakhs in the first month after spending 1 lakh rupees, why won't I run my own business? Why won't I run the business for a client? Now, trust me, if you are really skilled enough, if you are really uh, good enough to make a business profitable in the first month, you can really make your own business. There's no point in running businesses, running the show for anyone else. So in digital marketing, it's 99% times not possible to make profits in the first month. In fact, I personally cannot make business is profitable in the initial six months. It takes around a year. It takes around five years sometimes to make the brands profitable. So first of all, you have to understand that digital marketing is all about projecting how to make sales, projecting how much you make sales, and then you make some profits, but then you cannot make profits in the very first month. Anyways, now the objective has to be branding and sales. This is the majority of the times for small and medium businesses. Then we have to write down the market service requirement. So here for this project, the service requirement is social media marketing. So we'll be doing social media marketing for spring tales. Then it's SEO. We'll be doing on page and off page SEO, Google ads, and finally social media ads for Facebook and Instagram. Then we have to write down the content types. What type of content is needed for this entire project? So you would need text content. You would need banner content, which means creatives. We would need carousels, and we would need long and short form videos, which means reels. And then usually when I do any project, I don't create the content by myself. I always put this content in the project requirement and I ask client to provide this entire content. I really suck when it comes to creating creatives or videos. I really don't have any brain to judge the, you know, anything in creative work. I'm not good with artwork. So I don't do any form of content creation. I either provide them a person who could create the content for them or I connect them with a creative agency. Now, creative agencies are the companies who usually create contents in digital marketing. Then you have to understand the target location. So for us, Springtails.in, which is having e-commerce jewelry, which is having artificial jewelry, in fact, we can easily sell these products in the tier A cities of India. The target gender. I strongly believe that for artificial jewelry, female has to be the primary target gender. I, I can say we, we can have some males who can buy artificial jewelry for their mothers, for their wife, for their girlfriends but i really doubt how much percentage buys these numbers because i never personally bought any jewelry for anyone in my life i'm sorry for that <laughs> anyways then we have a target age, age range now for e-commerce jewelry for artificial jewelry it could be in between 18 to 34. now usually when women get older beyond 34 they are more into buying the real gold and diamond jewelry the marketing duration for this entire plan is one month. The monthly paid ads cost. 
Now, this becomes very difficult sometimes if you don't get the right budget from the client. But for this project, we are starting with a 40,000 rupees of monthly budget. Advertisement platforms is, has, is Google, Facebook and Instagram. Organic platforms is SEO and social media. That too, Facebook and Instagram only. Target keywords has to be 10 keywords. Monthly projected sales is NA right now. Now, there's something that we have to plan through media planning. Average cost per sale is again not available. So when you provide a project plan to a client, the project plan is going to have the monthly projected sales and the average cost per sale. Campaign types has to be added in the media plan. This is something which we'll be making in the second or third video. And then we have competitors, very important part. <laughs> then we have to write down the project requirements. So for this project, we would need the access of the social media pages, which means Facebook page and Instagram profile. We would need the access of ad accounts, which means Meta and Google ad accounts. If these accounts are not available, if these pages are not available, then we can create these pages for any project. Then the website link, probably the website access so that we can push conversion tracking code, we can push remarketing codes, we can push analytics code into the website. We would need text, creatives and video content. We would need the landing pages or the product pages for the project. And the most important one is the paid marketing budgets. In fact, I have met with a few clients who wanted me to pay on their behalf. So they were saying, okay, how much is the marketing paid budgets? I told them the budget is going to be 1 lakh rupees. And they asked me, why the hell you, why don't you pay for this project? You just pay for the advertisement cost of 1 lakh rupees and we will be paying you in the second month. You release your invoice after the month and then we'll be making the payment. And I was like, bro, it's it's your company. It's your products which are going to be sold. Why the hell I make a payment on your behalf? Like I can take the service fee after a while, but I won't be able to make the payments to Google and Meta. So you can also come across with a few clients who would want you to actually add your card in Meta and Google interface. But then if you are not really having if you're not a billionaire, if you're not a millionaire, then there's no point in putting the cards. I have never put any card in the accounts. And like, even if I do put the cards, even if I make the payment, why would I chase the client to pay for his ads? So you always uh, try to ask your client to put their cards in the account, never put your money into the ad accounts. You only charge for a service fee. That's the best option of running any project. And that also has to be charged in advance or in the running cycle. Anyways, then it comes to project deliverables. What we all as a digital marketer have to provide to the client. It's, it starts with the campaign setup, campaign optimization, generating the traffic on the website, generating sales and revenue for the company, giving the project execution plan. Maybe we have to execute the entire project and finally the monthly reports. So this is all that we have to provide for a project. And this is how you have to plan a project in digital marketing. Now, after this digital marketing project planning, we have to plan the keywords, which is called as keyword planning. And then we have to get into media planning, which is the most important aspect of managing any project in digital marketing.